Hey there, Gamma Obscura, continuing Pokemon Red. We're still in the Celadon Gym, but we're almost done. Just a couple trainers and the leader to go. And then we will head back to Pokemon Tower. I'll probably give the water bottle to the Saffron card, though, on the way, because that opens it up from every angle. And that's a nice thing to have, just having that access. So I'll show that so you know what to do. So you know what to do in a 25 and a half year old video game. It's important. It's important to understand these things. You know, and I, I really apologize for any spoilers for a 25 year old game that I may have revealed. It's... <laughs> I don't want to get into that whole discussion. No, I fell asleep! Doggone it. And now it's gonna, it's gonna absorb me one hit point at a time. I wonder if it actually sucked any health. We'll just cut to when Charizard wakes up. Alright, Charizard woke up. And this absorb, it actually does take health. One hit point, and it does give it back. Gloom is gaining hit points back from doing that. So it must take one and give one back. So there's no doing zero damage, and there's no absorbing zero hit points. So that's, that's actually kind of interesting. Oh, you... Yeah, whatever, lady. Now, who's this? Pleased to meet you. My hobby is Pokemon training. I mean... I, I don't know. I don't want to knock her for not being great at her hobby. Maybe she just started. I don't know. Oh, she's got to execute. I mean, that's a good way to start. You know, like... Executor is one of the best Pokemon in the game. I would say. It takes forever to get... Like, you can't get an execute until the Safari Zone. So, if you're willing to wait that long... Oh, splendid! Well, she's like happy... She's happy that I... Totally annihilated her Pokémon. Then Erica, the narcoleptic... Falling asleep here. Shit! What? Why... You didn't know I wanted to challenge you, why do you think I'm here? Like... You're a gym leader. You should be expecting people to want to battle you. Yeah, victory bell. Pretty cool cry, I think. In my opinion, anyways. But this thing's gonna be a little tough. I, I'm only nine levels ahead. Yeah, I barely even did half damage. Oh, I got the burn, yes! And now it's gonna wrap me. That's not gonna do much. Two, just two hit points. It's gonna get hurt by the burn. After every wrap, so... That kind of works both ways. Like, if you poison something, or toxic it, and then use wrap or something... Like, you're really gonna do some damage, because every time it gets caught in the attack, you know, the poison's gonna take effect here. But also, if you use Wrap when you have a status effect, you're also gonna take damage after every attack as well, so it's just something to be aware of. You know, that thing took a lot of damage from those burns, just from the Wrap. What? <laughs> Critical hit! And you got, like, you know, Tan Tangela here, it's just like, it's a walking spaghetti monster. It's like the failed deity. And we have Vile Plume here, and the front sprite, the flower isn't even centered properly. Like, it's... There's something wrong with this sprite, the way it looks. Like, you can tell the flower isn't aligned with the top of its body. Because otherwise you wouldn't be able to see its face or something. But so what? Its face is so ridiculous. It's just this little smiley dude. Like, it's the least intimidating. But there we go, it's only three poke- And the gym, what a joke! I'm telling you, Misty's Starmie, even though it wasn't a big deal, you know, the first time you play this game, you're thinking, like, man, this these are what the gyms have to offer? Holy crap. But no, because after that Starmie, it's pretty easy from there on out. So we got Mega Drain, which will teach to Vile Plume. It's, it's like Absorb, only it's twice as powerful. So it's a good thing to have for Vile Plume. I mean, you would never ever use Vile Plume in a competitive context, and certainly not one that you're gonna teach Cut to. It's just, you have to have Cut on something, and it's kind of a useless physical attacker as it is, so might as well just give it to that. And there we go. I don't feel like getting on the bike. I probably would have saved time by now, but no, because now we have to Cut again. Cut! Hacked away with Cut. All right, now I'll get on the bike. Now we'll get on the bike. We'll make up for lost time here. Here I go, vroom! So we gotta get out of this damn town. And like, we could just take the shortcut 
to to Cerulean and, and Vermilion and whatnot. But yeah, this guy, whoa boy, I'm parched. Huh? I can have this drink? Gee, thanks. Glug, glug. Glug, glug. If you want to go to Saffron City, you can go on through. I'll share this with the other guards. So yeah, all four gates to Saffron are now transferable? No, they're go-inable. Before they were un-go-inable. Now they're go-inable. And we need to make our way to Lavender Town. And I'm... Just go this way, because this is where that underground tunnel went. So we'll just go all the way to the right here. I don't feel like going into... Is it Vermilion? I'm not even sure. But yeah, here we go. We're back on this route. So we gotta get into Pokemon Tower now. And fight all the channelers and whatnot. But we gotta heal first. Because I'm out of embers, just about out of slashes. So let's hit up the Pokemon Center here. There's also a nickname raider in this city, but I don't feel like visiting him because I don't have any nicknames on my Pokemon, and I'm not going to because I just don't care. But there we go, we've healed our Pokemons. Let's get into Lavender Tower. And now that we have the Sylph Scope, we'll actually be able to do something. I don't know if I'm going to catch anything in here. Like, I mean, Haunter and Ghastly... I mean, really, a Haunter would be nice to get, because then you can just trade it with yourself and get a Golem. But I just, I don't see myself having having a, a Gengar on the team because I gave Thunderbolt to Raichu. Shoot! Shoot, I gotta put Alakazam out front. All these things have are just Ghastlies and Haunters. That's it. And I mean, normal type, normal and fighting type, you can't, they don't affect the ghost types. A ghost is totally immune. Kind of like how ground is immune to electric. And Nightshade. That's the worst attack I'm going to see here because it does damage equal to the level of the user. And these are all like level 20-something-ish. So I mean... What was that? 24 damage? So 24 damage a pop. I mean, that's not... It's nothing to sneeze at here. You know, six of those and I'm a goner. Hmm? What am I doing? Yeah, they're all possessed by ghosts. And there's there's another iconic line in here. The person's just like, ZOMBIES! And we'll, we'll find that, we'll find that trainer. You go through enough of these floors, eventually... Thankfully, there's like a sealed space on the floor that gives you a full heal. And it's really nice, because then you don't have to leave and come back. Like, I do have a couple escape ropes, and actually, I think Alakazam still knows teleport. And I'll probably let him keep that, because disable is such a useless move. It's totally useless. It disables a random move in Gen 1. At least in the other generations, it would disable the move they used previously. But in this one, it's random. So, like, you'll just end up disabling a move that you don't even care that the opponent has. But, again, just another one of the issues that got fixed later on. I still love this game. I don't, I'm not even able to catch these things. I'm just going to one-hit KO them all. But that's all right. Well, Alakazam's going to be, like, level 50 by the time we get out of here. Sneak behind this lady, get the item. Another escape rope. I mean, I don't need any of them. Because I have teleport. And then this lady's just like... Rawr, 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 rawr. Channelers. I don't know what they're holding in their hands. I can't tell what it is. And I really need a cup of coffee. I should have got a cup of coffee before I started this recording. Like, I've been, I've been playing this for the last couple hours now. In between, like, just getting the videos ready to publish. What? Okay, so what are they holding? What? Is it a sword? I'm not sure what that is. Because her right hand is, like, down by her waist. And then she's got something in her left hand. I don't know what it is. Like, most of the trainers have whips, which is kind of weird. Like, there's, like, an animal tamer with a whip. The cool trainers have whips. Like, like the, I think even the rocker had a whip. Just the, the, the people who made this game were obsessed with whips. And I'm not sure what the channelers have, but it could be some kind of psychic whip or something. I don't know. I don't know. There actually are trainers called Psychics as well. Hey, a level up! Is anyone surprised at this? Man, dude, I took two steps. 
Like, I forgot that I'm gonna be editing a lot of these battles out. Like, I just one-hit KO almost. They don't take long. But, I'm gonna edit them out, so... I just need to keep that in mind. Yeah, and this, this, this... I think they're ladies? I'm assuming they're ladies. She's like, be cursed with me. It's like, I don't wanna be cursed. I don't wanna be cursed with anyone. What the hell? How about I break your curse, and then we can be not cursed together? How? How in the balls did that not one-hit KO it? Dude! And now I'm confused. Damn it. I, I'm pretty sure I get to level 27. That's when it learns Psybeam. And I, I don't want this out here anymore because I'm cursed. So let's go with... We'll just go with Charizard, I guess. I think he's my fastest, my next fastest. Actually, no, I bet Raichu would be. I bet Raichu would be. And Thunderbolt's a much stronger attack than Ember, so I ruined this. Thank goodness I got the critical hit, though. But, yeah, I didn't want a confused Alakazam out there. I have no idea what that thing is. is like, is part of that sprite their hair? Or something? Let's get a good look at this here. Huh. <laughs> Beat me not. Kind of laughs like Sans. Is that... No, because that... I, I don't know what it is. I just don't. It's not important. It's not important. What floor are we on? Are we on the fourth floor? I think we're on the fourth floor. So there's three to go. There's a whole bunch of trainers, though. Like, this, this is going to go into the next episode. I guarantee it. But I don't think we'll go into a third. Huh? Who? What? Oh, what button? Who took my false teeth? Let's see... Here's a dude! It's nice being able to just... Ghost! No! Qua! Like, just knowing that I can... not show the random battles, and it's like, I get a break... from the commentary, and... I'm starting to feel like I talk a lot more often than other people who do this. But that's just kind of how my mind works. Sometimes it's- No! Stop confusing me! My mind is kind of like a mile a minute, just naturally. Dude! Ugh. I think it's the next floor that has, like, the sealed space. Please connect. No! Because if I get to- Oh. I'm taking the chance. I don't care. Yay! I'm gonna say, because if it hits me with a nightshade, I'm gonna faint. I mean, I do have... Hey, level 27! I do have... It's trying to learn Psy Beam. And I'm gonna get rid of Disable, as I said. Poof! Yep, now we got Psy Beam. And Psy Beam inflicts confusion. It's kind of weird, because confusion... You would think that could confuse... The target. Or maybe it can. But Psy Beam can too, I think. Or maybe I have that the other way around. I don't know. I'm pretty sure Psybeam has a chance of inflicting some kind of additional effect. I, just, I can't remember. Maybe they both cause confusion. And Psybeam has a better chance. I don't know. Really what I should be doing is next time I get into a random battle, I should just go upstairs and make a cup of coffee. Because, like, it gets to the point. Like, I just leave and... Like, I could just get up and leave the room and just let the thing record on the battle screen for as long as I want. Because when I edit the video, I'm just going to cut back to after the battle being over. You. Shall. Join. Us. And why is she talking like the, the wheelchair-bound kid in Malcolm in the Middle? What is this? And we're going to send out a Ghastly. It's level 22, but hey, guess what? Guess what, Ghastly? My Alakazam now knows Psybeam. I love that attack, too. The sound it makes. The sound it makes. I don't know, there's just something about it. I always loved it as a kid. The psychic moves. And I don't know if it's just, like, looking back on it. I see them more fondly now than I used to because it reminds me of when I was a kid playing this game. Give me your soul. Because, obviously, as a kid playing this back in the day, like, you got that Alakazam. And, I mean, you just felt on top of the world. Nothing could touch you. Not even a chop. <laughs> but anyways, like, these sounds in the psychic one, where it's like, and the screen gets all wavy. Like, it just takes me back to that time. Carefree. Gasp. So here's a sealed space. Let's just get on it. 
The this this one here, it looks like kind of looks like a mushroom now when they when they're facing away from you. But dude, she's she just tells you like, "Hey, you can rest here." Basically, she's not a trainer you get to fight. Zombies! There it is. There she is. Zombies. What is she got? A ghastly. So we've seen one haunter at least. We've gotten to see a haunter. So that's that's kind of nice. But yeah, these trainer ones, we'll go with Psybeam for them because they're a little tough. They're a little bit tough here. I mean, I haven't been one hit KO in them. Now I'm level 28. What was I? Level 25? When I came in here, I've gained three levels. Alakazam, huh? Is just out of control, man. Another nugget? Nice. Urgh, urgh. It's hilarious, the stuff they say. All of them. All of them. I don't think I'm going to get to the Marowak before I have to end the episode. So that's kind of a bummer, but that's just the way it goes. And I think I've decided I am going to go to Fuchsia City before Saffron, just so I can have my, my full team before I get into Sylph Co. and all that stuff. Woo! We just defeated Ric Flair. So that's what I'm going to do, because also, if you notice... If you go to like your like your status subscreen here where it shows all your stuff, like Koga is technically the fifth gym. Pay no attention to the time. I've not actually been playing for ten and a half hours. That's just how long the game has been on. Cause I just leave it on in between recordings when I'm editing and like rendering the video. So I've probably only been playing for like six hours or something. What did I do that for? It was a wild battle. I'm not paying attention to anything. So that actually works. So that's how teleport works. <laughs> Dude. Gam. What the hell's wrong with me? Seriously, sometimes I wonder. Sometimes I wonder. You know, I, I talk too much, too fast. I'm just, I'm just everything all the time. I think I gotta get that other trainer. There's an item down there, I think. So, we'll, we'll fight this other trainer, grab that item, and call it a day. We'll finish Pokemon Tower. And you can't get this item without fighting this later? Give me blood! It's channelers. They, they're wearing like the MC Hammer pants, I think, or is that like a dress? I'm not sure. I, I like to think of them as the MC Hammer pants. It's funnier to me. Just do Psybeam. Just do Psybeam. How many Pokemon did she have? I hope I don't regret going into this battle. Critical hit. Critical hit. Th two more, man. Th like, this just takes so long. But it's just part of the game. And like, I'm definitely getting a cup of coffee after this. My, my brain, I can feel the brain fog from lack of caffeine. Another level! What in the hell? Just how? How is this thing leveling up so fast? It's it's not... Like, this isn't a Pokemon that I got from someone else. I'm the original trainer. Like, I don't remember Alakazam's leveling up that quickly. This is wild. It's absolutely wild. Grown! Whatever. So, what do we got here? An X accuracy. I'm definitely selling that. What a useless item. But that'll happen next time after we get out of here and head towards Fuchsia City. Hope to see you there. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.